fact, it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, He's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw, it's Allen. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run for the first time with James Cook to the 43, second down. And the Bills hit 8-2 and two on the year, and they come in as a team that looks like a well-oiled machine getting ready for the postseason. Winners at 8 of their last 10. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That That's might be P.I. Defense. Trying to cover Cooper there a little too closely. And he's such a tough cover because he runs his route so well. Hard to stay with him and hard to figure out exactly where the break points are. And in this case, he created another pass interference call. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, when you got a guy who's a dual threat out of the backfield, go ahead and use it. And that's exactly what they've done on back-to-back -back plays here. Picked up big chunks of yardage once in the air and once on the ground. What is that? What is that? Play action. Now it's Allen. That is caught at the seven. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Again, it's Cook. And this time, he's in for a Buffalo touchdown. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out and at the helm. A now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL. It's Patrick Mahomes. Brandon, it's always nice when you get recognized with an individual award. And he was the AFC Offensive Player of the Week last week. But when you do it in a win, so much the better. Absolutely. And he was all talking about that win, not so much the award he received on Wednesday. That's a nice-looking award. I wonder if he took it home, you know, got out of the car, showed it off to the kids in the neighborhood, passed it around. <laughs> I wonder what he did with it. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll complete this one to Watson. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. In motion goes the tight end. To throw, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, complete. That's Hopkins. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Here's Mahomes to throw. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Now Mahomes locates Hardman for another catch and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. This is caught. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Stonewalled on second down. Now let's see what they can do on third and goal from the two. Punt is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. And there's an offense that didn't panic after getting down early, and with good reason. No better way to silence a home crowd than with a nice, long, sustained drive. And they were able to put one together here and finish with the touchdown run. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at seven. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And Kareem Hunt, the one to finish it off, as he did so with a touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bills offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's been a real threat in the red zone and beyond. As you take a look at the NFL leaders in rushing touchdowns by a QB, you'll notice he's worked his way into the top five at this point in the season. Now Allen. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. So from the 37, here's second and a yard. They'll try to medal with Cook. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Allen now looks to throw. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. These two teams all tied after one. The Bills in control of the football. Now second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. So the shotgun snap to Allen. As his man, it's Shakir. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. First down. 
Here's Allen. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Allen to throw once more. And this is incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. To the air, Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Throwing now is Allen. Open man is Samuel, complete. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. And that last throw is going to keep him climbing that all-time passing yards leaderboard as he crosses the 25,000-yard mark now for his career. He just recently passed Bart Starr. Next up for him, Bob Greasy. That's two Hall of Famers, two Super Bowl winners, multiple Super Bowl winners. So he's getting up with the legends now. Congratulations. Davis is in. Touchdown, Bills. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test yet. I absolutely do because, to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division but I am making a Super Bowl run. So this game is crucial. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that that's what's going to go around the league and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. On the counter, Hunt. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Now here's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stopped him short. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. So here are the Bills to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. 
Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Allen going to throw. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A big pickup of 38. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to bring up second down. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14-7. to seven. This is second and eight. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Third and two. To throw, it's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Curtis Samuel, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to seven. So that drive spanned five plays, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Second and seven. Mahomes going to throw. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Perfect example of the kind of attitude you have to have to play defensive back in the NFL. You want to be the only defender around, and you want them to challenge you. And on that play, he came through. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And he is caught. And he will have a Chiefs first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. Now second and nine. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. 
Mahomes to throw once more. Finding Hardman here over the middle. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Throwing now is Mahomes. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And that is no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA. Here we head all the way out west to see right what's to happening with the LA Chargers. And they trail in their ball game at halftime to the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow having his hottest start as you can. Four. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. A little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. He'll take this to the 46. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. That's taken in by Watson. Seven yards there and a first down. They go play fake. Mahomes throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. To throw, it's Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And down inside the 15 he goes. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half, and now seven on the game. Now Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point by Butker is on target. And yeah, they're back with it. A touchdown at 21-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the Bills' offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure... Because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. And Cook has it left side. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now Allen. Taking a shot for Samuel. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. 
A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Davis, he'll try to run for it. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. Here's Sam Martin now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Escaping the pressure right. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Mahomes now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? Got to go with a, try to go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. Now here's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 22 yards there, a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Locates Hardman for another catch. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 35, here's the second down at six. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 18. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Mahomes going to throw. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Justin Watson, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth.
And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 57 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. The Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Samuel going to go in motion right. Allen from the gun on third down. Steps away to him. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fifty-one yards on the punt there. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Got his man complete him, and he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Now this is picked up by the Bills, and they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. The fumble recovery certainly has put them in the driver's seat. First and ten, all tied here in the fourth. The and now before the ball review. changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And shedding through the tackle. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. They'll run again with Hunt. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Now 
Now Mahomes gives to Hunt. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. In motion left goes a tight end. And this pass caught by Gray. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. On second down, here's the option. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Now second and four. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, here's Hunt. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Kareem Hunt. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Chiefs have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Allen and the Bills now. Down 28-21, a minute 11 to go. Their five-game winning streak hanging in the balance here. Here's Allen. That's complete. It's Cook. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Allen. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Now Allen. That's caught by Kincaid, working the middle of the field. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Throwing Allen. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. To throw is Allen. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. Now Allen. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. One final shot. They'll look to throw. 
This to possibly force OT. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. What a thrilling fourth quarter this one was. Well, at least, I guess, if you're cheering for the winning side. An, outsta an outstanding comeback, though, that saw them completely take control and change the outcome of this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead after three quarters. A little bit of a stunning ending because it wasn't just a one-touchdown swing. It was a multiple-touchdown swing for them to end up losing that ball game. Give credit where credit is due. They came off the pace and got it done. So for the Chiefs, they keep on rolling 10-0 now to start the year. And they'll have another road date next week with the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for the Bills, it's a loss at...